But our biggest project is the cow shed. We need to get a roof on and secure before winter strikes. It's a huge task. The first stage of building the roof is putting the rafters on. Stuart, Alex and Fons are getting to grips with it. In a week's time, professional thatchers will be arriving. That leaves seven days to get the roof structure finished. Roughly perpendicular to the actual... No, you'll need to... Um, a bit shallower, yeah? That'll come out here. All oh, right, you I need to, to be like that? Yeah. OK. Looking at where you are, you want to drop in to about there. That's it, it's biting now. Certainly is hard work, this sort of stuff. I've just got to look at that angle. Right, are we starting to drift towards the edge there? Right. You want to keep your pressure, because you're below it, you'll pull yeah. it down slightly, so you want to keep the pressure up. Keep right. So it's coming more this way. So I'm just... Yeah. So I'm trying not to actually push it now, I'm trying to just let it... Just... Yeah, ideal. Brilliant. We've got two for each rafter. So, 64 holes, is it? Yeah. At least. And how far are we through this one, from? It's about half an inch. Half an inch. Maybe halfway. Much of it's technique. A lot of the things we've been doing, you know, just in the, the two months we've been here, I've found that you go in, sort of guns blazing, and then uh, about halfway through the day, when you're beginning to flag and ache, you realise that it's a lot more about technique and having them kind of just pacing yourself as much as anything. After the glorious days of September, October brings rain to the valley. The water is sorely needed for their newly sown crops, but it's not good news for the team working to a deadline on the cowshed roof. We might have to call it a day shortly because it is really beginning to bucket down. So I think, Stuart, should we um, run for cover? I think we'll run for cover and maybe come back and do this at another time. Securing the roof timbers on the cowshed requires dozens of roof pegs. Metal was too expensive and might even corrode the rafters. So Alex is having a go at carving them from wood. Now, this is the kind of 17th century equivalent of the Black & Decker work, mate. OK, we've got the vice. It's operated by my, my feet here. So I slide it under, like so. And as I push my feet away from me, it grips the peg, you see? Now, I need something called a draw knife. Quite simply, all I'm going to do is just take the corners off, shave down the exact width of the, uh, the pegs we're going to need. OK, I think that's just about done. So we're going to need something in the region of about 70 pegs, maybe 75 pegs. With pegs made, Alex, Stewart and Fons can crack on with securing the first of the cowshed's 32 rafters. What advantage you got with these over modern drill bits is they don't jam. Yeah. Give it some weight on the top now, uh, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's gone. I can feel it. Their Great. speed will have to rapidly Egg. improve if they are to be ready for the thatchers. Great. But Alex's pegs are doing the job, and the rafters are beginning to take shape. Well through. Oh, oh, that's that's nice. holding. That's great. Right, get the matching one on the other side. Okay. And then we've got this pair locked. It took four days to secure all the rafters on the cowshed. But before thatching can begin, the whole of the roof still needs to be rodded. And that's another couple of days' work. These rods are going to be woven. Go. Having yeah. spent hours cutting the bracken in the triangle awaits, field, sir. all they have to do now is persuade Blackthorn to drag it up to the cowshed. Good girl. Come on, sweetie. No, 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 no. Come on, you can do this. Come on. Walk on. Come on. No, no, don't be silly. Walk on. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Come on, then. Good mare. What a good girl. Steady, steady. 